Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. You know what? Let's do this. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, the NLT translation. The NLT translation. For we all are not fighting against flesh and blood. Enemies, but against evil rulers of authorities of the unseen world. Against mighty power. In the dark, in the dark, in this dark, in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, Kapodash. The Wadi Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki and pushing the world is certainly and true for being faith based and being prepared and being prepared for what is to come and what is to come. Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the apartheid to each other, the market to beast. 200 million missiles in the soils of America. Simultaneously, the terrorists of the Lord lifted up the whole full life into the chambers. Simultaneously, the terrorists of the Lord shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens. Right, please. So, yeah, I brought this out of the Lord to the course of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation out of this filthy place, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the other filthy customs they have taken upon. Yeah, um, if I remember the same title I thought of, I brought this out, it'd be clear. So, um, right now, the time is 1 22 a.m. in the morning, February 8th, Thursday, February 8th. 2024, the whole, for, the whole for year of Jacob's trouble. And um, I was, uh, I, I didn't even sleep that long. I dozed off after I did my video. And I just mentioned this. So a few things happened in this one dream that seemed like it was a few days in this one dream. I just said this. So, I can't remember. I can't remember all the details. Just a little thing I can't remember. So, <clears throat> something was happening, you know, uh, how can I explain right now? I'm trying to close my eyes so I can see it again. Um, uh, dude, I was dating this woman. She looked like multiple women I dated. They, like, she took on the face, features of all the women I dated. So, um, and, um, Certain features of each woman was on this woman that I dated. That if it seemed like it was the thing I liked it from these women, these women I dated. Um, that was on this one woman. So she was very, very attractive, very beautiful. And um, so I tried to convince her, but she got all the quite the, she got all of the details of these other women. So so it's like a. She had the she had the best parts of what he looked, but she also had a the, the, the um attitude. So um, make a long story short. Uh, the dream jumped from going through things with this woman, all types of issues. I'm explaining that you gotta stop this. It's the same same shit. So, you know, a lot of things jumped on my mind, but. So the dream jumped to another situation. Um, I was with a brother. Um, I'm not gonna say who he was, but so we was talking. So he's like, "Give me your Bible." So he took my Bible and he ripped the page. I'm like, "You're not supposed to rip pages." So we run it. We ran outside and we ran to a police car that was parked by a fire hydrant. <laughs> and a lot of other brothers was there. So 
So I said, oh, maybe it's for a reason. So when I saw the page, I saw like a couple of verses on the page. So I got really nervous when he read the page. I was like, oh no. I was mad nervous. So, so um, we ran outside and we seen a police car parked by a fire hydrant. So he started writing the page, um, the, the license plate down. And I looked at the fire hydrant. So I pulled out my phone to, to try to take the picture. And I kept getting blocked to try to take the picture. I could see the, the um, license plate. I couldn't take the picture. And then the other brothers was there and they was posing. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I didn't take the picture of this damn license plate. I'm like, ah, move out the way, ah. So, <laughs> so the other brother got the license plate. So he gave back my book. So I ended up back in the house. Talked to my then woman I was dealing with talking about shit whatever what else you know listen she got mad kids though, though. It's mad kids all around just like oh, you gotta keep these kids in order uh, you know so um it just happened it seemed like it was fucking months or some shit just went like the 20 I don't know how long I was sleeping but it's now it's 122 now and but I wasn't sleeping that long because I just dozed off I mean, it seemed like it was so long so, um, um, so the woman walked out the room, out the room, right, and I'm watching her go. A few other things happened, I just can't get the details of that, but this is the part that happened. So, um, so the cop found out who, who did it. But I didn't get to take the pictures, but they found out they took the, um, if, um, they, um, believed us because we took, those who took pictures, whatever, and, um, of the license plate, so the cop came back, knocking on my door, boom, boom, banging on it, boom, boom, but right before I had the door, the door was open, so, so told me, go up and lock the door, so I locked it, it took a long time to turn the latch, the latch was so heavy to turn, and I locked it. And then it started banging. Boom, boom, boom. And then he came to the basement. He came the other way. So I was I was sitting in front of the door. I felt the presence coming. So um a woman came back right in front of the demon. And I was like, And she got all startled. Oh, nervous, but the demon was behind her, and then he jumped at me, and made him tussling, like I'm boom, boom, boom. Then I grabbed his arm, and I'm like, "Yeah, boss, me outside." I started banging him. I was like, "What the hell? Fuck, told you to come up here, I'm rebuke you in there, yeah, boss, me outside." So it was just crazy. I was just talking about interpreting dreams and stuff. I don't know what it meant, but I know that was just crazy. That just happened so fast. And then, you know, um, I threw the demon out the house. Then I woke up. I was like, oh, shit. What the hell? So that was quick, man. That was like a quick, I don't know. That was mad. It was just so much happening. But I know um, that woman that looked like all the women, she was down with that demon. You know, that's what I, my interpretation was, but, um, um, and, um, the, um, us, um, getting the information about the police car, that was us, um, prop, um, um, getting our testimony together. And the brothers, that was, that was, they was, they was happy. They was like, they was taking pictures in front of the plate, the license plate. I like, ah, let me get let me get the license plate. Come on, you get in front of it. He said, now nah, this is our time. I was like, I just saw the brother, I saw the brother that was doing that. I got a clear face of him, but that was dope. And I was just nervous at the picture. I mean, on him ripping the um the uh the um the, the scriptures. We gotta get this license plate. And we got it, and I can't remember the, the number because I couldn't see the damn number. I was trying to get the damn number. I was trying to take a picture of it, but I couldn't get it. So, you know, we was like, we, 
and the, the brothers was posing, the other brothers, like there was, the other brothers, those people, the other brothers was taking um footage of the, of, they they got it. Everybody else got the um the um license plate. But I was like, oh, but I seen the number on on the brothers um thing. I'm like, oh, I'm where? Like, yo, we got it, we got it, we got it. He was posing up in front of the picture, in front of the um license plate. And all I know, I seen the hydrant and I seen the police car. But when I busted the night, the damn demon up, and then I woke up. I was like, oh, man. So, like, oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, the world, we got him. We got him. Oh. He was posing. And I was like, oh, shit, we got him. Oh, shit, we got motherfuckers ain't getting away with this one. Parking in front of the fire hydrant. <laughs> you know, that's illegal, right? You police officers always doing shit. It's a lot here. Hey, so we up against principalities, man. Hey, I, I was just on. Um, all right, that's all I get, man. All right. Romans chapter eight, verse thirty-eight. I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from your Yahweh's love. Neither death nor life. Neither angels or demons. Neither our fear for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from your Yahweh's love. Con. That was a quick one. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shemel Shah, Yahweh Shemel Kakodash. The water of Yahweh Shemel Shah, forgiveness of the apostles, nails is a great millstone. Shalom to the Akim. Shalom.